So hi everyone, Sheila here with another weekly update. Um, I'm sitting on the floor today because what I thought I'd do today is just talk about a little bit of work that I've been doing because I know some of you seem to have liked when I've done that before. Um, so just to say um, this week, feeling much better than last week, 1st of February, the beginning of spring. It was lovely on Monday on the 1st of February. It's now just rained every day since, but feeling much more positive about things than I was last week, so that's good. But today I want to talk to you a bit about when things don't go right, but sometimes when things aren't working the way that you kind of planned or expected, sometimes good things can happen from that as well. So I'm just going to pause and turn around the camera and show you some things that I've been working on this week. Okay, so there's something over there that I had been working on that I think I'm just going to paint over that today. Um, so yesterday, I things weren't going right, so I just kind of mix the paint in my palette and I had two small canvases and I ended up just doing kind of mixtures of brush strokes and things and did these two canvases which I quite like but the other thing I did and I put this in a bit of a frame is I ended up with a, a landscape like this which is actually not at all what I expected um, but I was using some of the colours that I've been using if you can see on the you know some of these kind of canal things these sort of purples and oranges and yeah, a bit of white, but um, again, I was just using a bit of paper, just, you know, just m m mucking about, basically. But um, I also printed on here with the face mask, and I just kind of started taking some details. Now, I think that that's got a really kind of nice effect of sea and sky, and um, yeah, somewhere that I go to quite a lot. So I'm just going to pause the camera and talk to you a bit about that again. So yeah, so this bit of work that I just showed you, the purple landscape, there's somewhere in my head that I go to when I'm not sure what I'm doing. And it's a landscape or it's a, an amalgamation of many landscapes that um, I've experienced throughout my life. Um, and something takes me there, colour, paint takes, um, and texture take me back there. And I think last year through the pandemic, then I wasn't going to kind of the countryside, to the sea, to, to my favourite places. Um, I was trying to find a replacement for that. And for a lot of last year and, and for this year and probably for a lot of this year, the canal, my direct environment, it is going to be that place. But I've still not quite got the same connection in my head as I have with this landscape, this kind of, I suppose, my version of my world, my Scotland, the place that I want to be in. Um, and it's quite strong and it's quite an emotional attachment. Um, and I hadn't been able to be there. I think I was a little bit, probably a bit in November, I did some colour and line things when I was experimenting with the mask. And that got me there a bit. But I think there's something about maybe me feeling a bit more positive, that I feel that I've got a chance maybe to see some of these more open landscapes again. Not that I'm criticising the landscape and my environment where I am just now, but it was just quite interesting reflecting on how your mind takes you places that you sometimes aren't really aware of. So the power of subconscious, I think, in art is very, very powerful. So that's what I've been up to this week. Um, I've also been doing a bit of other work to kind of pay the bills and all that kind of stuff. So um, again, thanks for all your likes and shares and comments. It's always great, Val. Love all your comments. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you stay safe this week. Again, as ever, if there's anything you want to talk about, if you're interested in any of the work. Oh, and the other thing that I need to tell you about, which I mentioned last week, was that I am going to be doing something exciting with the Society of Scottish Artists this week coming. I'm one of four artists in the Glasgow area who are going to get a little feature. It's called 4x4x4. But there'll be more about that in my newsletter. So um, do sign up for that if you haven't. And if you have, well, you'll find out all about it. And I'll, I'll share more about that next week as well. But again, if there's anything you want to know about, then just leave me a comment or get in touch and stay safe. And uh, yeah, take care till next time. Bye.